beginning of my writing career in the very early 1980s, which was a very overcast time politically. Most of the liberal world was watching in horror at the inexorable rise of the Reagan, Thatcher, right-wing, fuck buddy coalition. At the same time, we had elements of fascism starting to make themselves prevalent upon the streets of Britain with the rise of the National Front. And all in all, things were looking fairly bleak. I decided that if I wanted to write about this grim present, the best way to do it was in the form of a story set in the future, which is uh, by no means a new trick. Most dystopian science fiction is not actually about the future, it is about the times in which it was written. And the script that I came up with, Beat of Vendetta, was no exception. This was set in what at the time seemed an unreachably distant period in the future, which was 1997, and uh, Britain had been taken over by a coalition of fascist groups with a very romantic anarchist adventurer set in opposition against that. To get over the idea of fascism, I needed some symbol that would convince the readers that they were looking at a fascist police state. The thing that I finally settled upon was the idea of security cameras mounted upon every street corner and watching every move. I figured, yeah, that looks pretty much like fascism in action. And the readers were equally impressed and um, apparently so were government figures who must have been reading it at that time and decided that security cameras at every street corner of the metropolis was indeed just what we needed for the late 1990s.